Hello friends, welcome to the video series on interview questions for SQL PL SQL developers. In this video, we'll see another interview question about replace and translate function. Sometimes the question will be a direct question like what is the difference between a replace and a translate function? And sometimes it will be like what is a replace function or what is the functionality of a translate? Few times it will be like a scenario based questions like in what scenario you might be using this replace function? In what scenario you will go for a translate function? Typically, these questions are asked at a beginner or a fresher level. We'll try to understand the functionality of the replace and translate so that we'll be able to easily differentiate what is the difference between replace and the translate function. We'll start uh, understanding the replace function through few examples, then we'll look into the translate function. See, the one uh, similarity between both the replace function and translate function is both are like string manipulation function, both help us to replace certain characters in the source string. Okay, first we'll see a simple example for replace function. So typically the replace function will take three input argument. That is the first argument is the string in which you want to replace. For example, here is the our first input argument like welcome to Oracle class. So this is the input string first parameter. The second parameter is a string which we want to replace with. The third parameter is a string what we want to replace so in this case we are saying replace the keyword oracle it's not the keyword replace the string oracle with another string called python so when we try to execute this we'll be getting like welcome to python class so what happens here is that wherever the occurrences of oracle find or this replace function will replace the oracle with python word string so this is the replace function. It is very simple. It is a string replacement function. And the key point to note here is that the whole string, that is the whole string in this case, Oracle will be replaced with another string called Python. Okay, let us see a few more example. So this is the example just now we saw in the slide. So here you can give any character. It can be either a single character. For example, in this case, I'm saying replace the oracle with a that's why we are able to sing welcome to a class instead you can give any number of character it, there is it's not necessary that the number of characters you are specifying here should match with the number of characters here suppose if you don't want the string itself you can just leave it as a empty string here so that the whole word will be replaced or the whole word will be removed so in this case since we have just given an empty value here the output is like just welcome to class okay so we can give any 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 string okay something like uh, we are just replacing welcome to oracle class with welcome to java class okay now we'll start see, looking into the translate function see translate function in fact translate function is also like string manipulation function only but the way translate behave is slightly different from the replace function so in this case i try to use the translate function so as as similar to replace function the first parameter is the string in which we want to uh, translate the second parameter is also a string which we want to replace with the third third parameter that is again a string but the key point here is that translate will not replace the entire word with the another word instead it will just go by character by character replacement this is the learning here translate will go ahead with character by character replacement so in this case wherever it finds the a, a character it replaces with one wherever it finds b it replaces with two same way wherever it finds c it replaces with three exactly same d will be replaced with four and e will be replaced with five so when we see the output see you can see here in the welcome the e, e is actually replaced with five same way c c is replaced with three you can see another e here so it is replaced with five exactly similar to that so in this case oracle right the a the a is replaced with one so this is how the translate will work now you will be able to understand the difference between a replace and a translate replace will just go ahead and replace the string with another string whereas translate will uh, do the replacement by the character by character replacement. Let us understand the functionality of translate uh, with few more examples. So this is the example just now we saw. 
See, one key thing to note here is that the number of characters, that is the string which we want to replace, in case if you are giving exactly same number of characters, then all these characters will be replaced with this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Suppose if there is a short of letter, suppose in this case you are saying Oracle, but instead of 6 character, you are just giving 5 character only. So in this case, what will happen is, O will be replaced with 1 exactly. Similarly, R will be replaced with 2 and A will be replaced with 3. C will be replaced with 4. Same way, L will be replaced with 5. But for E, there is nothing to replace. So in this case, what will happen is, this E character will be removed from the string. Let me just execute and show you. See, as you can see here in this welcome, the second string is actually E, but E is actually removed. And the next string that is L. L is actually replaced with 5 because that's what we have specified, the last character here. L is replaced with 5. Maybe we'll try to understand with one more example. I think that makes sense. So in this case, uh, you just see this example. Here we are. We have a string called A B C D E F G H I J K L. So what we are saying here is replace the A B C D with one two three four. So what will happen is this A will be replaced with one, B will be with two, C will be replaced with three. Same way D will be replaced with four. Perfect. So now suppose if I if I just remove this four, what will happen is a, B, C will be replaced with 1, 2, 3, whereas D, this character D will be completely removed from the string. You can see here, A, B, C is replaced with 1, 2, 3. The second word, D, E, F, in D, E, F, D is actually removed. Suppose let me remove the 1, uh, 3 also. So now if you see, in A, B, C, A and B are replaced with 1 and 2, whereas the C is removed, same way D is also removed, because for C and D, it doesn't find any replacement character one more very important point here is suppose if you if you give a blank or null okay blank value or null value you will get null output only so this is another difference between the replace and the translate in replace if you put a null only that particular string will be removed whereas in translate if you put a null or a empty the entire string will be removed and you'll just get the null as the output. In case if you want any questions to be answered, you can share it in your in the comments or you can drop to this mail ID. If you have learned something new, please like this video, subscribe and stay tuned for new feature videos, interview questions, concept videos, tips and tricks. Thanks again for watching.